It's tackle time. Anyone who's fisherman knows that tackle is just about everything. We're all tackle hoarders. I got the new Plano. This is the guide series right here. We are looking at the, I think this is the, yeah, the 3700. This is the big boy. And here's what sold me on this thing. I've got one of the older versions of this tackle bag. But what really sold me on it are these magnets on the top. I'm always looking for my pliers. Those pliers aren't budging. They're going nowhere. <laughs> they are stuck to that tackle box until I pull them off, which is gonna be a great feature for me. You know how it is whenever you catch a fish, you're looking for your pliers, you're looking for the scale. Well, those pliers are gonna sit on top of there and they aren't gonna budge. Let's take a look inside. This is the 3700, so it's the big containers. This thing holds. One, two, three, four long ways, and one up on top. I'm not gonna use those guys. I am not a fan of the generic tackle holders. So these are going in the garage. I'm gonna use them for other kinds of storage. What I am gonna do though, I'm gonna take you out to the garage. I got those all ready to go. Those are my waterproof guys. And I got them all labeled up so they got my hard baits, finesse baits, jigs and trailers, worms, and the creatures and flukes on top. And I've made my label for the terminal tackle, which I'm gonna be using the skinny tackle. So it's a 3700 box, but it's the skinnier version. Probably gonna slide that into the front, someplace else obviously, because there's not gonna be enough room in the box itself. But that gives me a ton of room for my tackle. This is my boat box. This is not a box that you're gonna wanna take with you when you're fishing the shore. It's just gonna be too heavy for that. All right, let's open the front pouch. Front pouch has another storage box in it, but I'm, well, I might use that. That's actually a pretty good looking box. We'll see, but that gives you a ton of room in here as well. You got a place for your fishing license. I believe it has a, it does. So you got a cell phone holder pouch right here. I won't be using that, but it's kind of nice to have it anyway. So a lot of room here. You got two side pockets. Also very useful. And on the back, I've got an area where you can slide in some stuff as well. It's not real thick, but you know, it's a good place to put some, a few extra things right there. So huge tackle box. I'm ready to go. Bring on 2023. It's gonna be a great year for fishing. Let's continue on with this video that only a fisherman could enjoy. All of the boxes that came with this tackle box, they're sitting right out there. I may throw them away. I may keep them for garage storage. I don't know. But I have filled my box with all of my stuff, and I'm going to show that to you real quick. In the front pouch here, I've got my terminal tackle. Nothing real exciting. Those are your weights, your hooks, swivels, anything like that. Then in this pouch right up here, we got a zippered pouch. I'm keeping uh, my big pliers and my big wire cutters and my fishing license. So that's all here in the front pouch. On the side pouches, this side is my small pliers and all my fishing tools right there. And a pair of glasses because I'm old and I'm starting to go blind. At least I'm having a hard time tying my knots. Over on this side, this is my boat stuff. Well, I got my fishing scale in there too. But I got my boat key right here. I've got my trailer connector right there. And then I got a scale as well. So that's the side pouch there. Now let's take a look in the inside. Most of what I have inside is my own stuff. Well, that's not true. Top section here, these are my hard baits. I put them in the skinny box. My hard baits, you've got uh, top waters up the top, you got crank baits, and you got jerk baits down below. So those are my hard baits. Pull those off the top. And then you've got my inside sections here with the worms, creature flukes, finesse baits, jigs and trailers. Most of this is stuff I pour myself. The only stuff in here that I didn't pour would either be Robo Worm or Kitek. I like both of those companies quite a bit. But here are my worms. These guys are Robos right here. Uh, this is my favorite pour. That is my five inch. Yeah, I think it's a five inch R tail worm. Both of these are the same things. I love these both quite a bit. Over here is my four inch pour. Up here is my six inch pour. This is another six inch worm I pour up there. And then I got seven inch curly tails there as well. So those are my worms. I don't throw them that often. On the worms, I'm either gonna be throwing those Texas rigged, Carolina rigged, or on a drop shot. 
Next up, we've got the creatures and the flukes. Now, this is where Kitech is going to start to shine. Because I really do like Kitech. Okay, these up here are some creatures that I pour. Little, uh, I can use that as a Texas rig, or I can throw that on the back of a jig. Over here, I've got, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one, Yamamoto. These are uh, uh, fat Ikas. I got some flukes that I pour right here. And some wor or lizards that I pour. And then all of these down here would be Kitex on my flukes. So those are my flukes and creatures. Next up are jigs and trailers. The jigs I hand tie myself, put those together. Learned how to do that from my buddy Tim. So I do not buy jigs anymore. I just use my own. So all the top, you got my jigs up there. These are the micro jigs right here. And those are actually Kitech. And these two are Kitech. The trailers down below, I think almost all of those are my home pours. Except for this one here. And I don't remember what it is. I think it might be a Robo Worm. Nope, it's a Giri Yamamoto. I can see it right there on the belly. Uh, but these here, these, and the cross up top, those are all home pours. Love this one here, which is a two-tone. Give it a white belly. Crog color on the back. That is a good-looking trailer right there. That is a home pour. Last but not least, we got finesse baits. And most of this is also going to be home pour. If people make fun of you or tell you, what do they call it, a, a fairy stick if you're throwing a drop shot rod, well, they're idiots. You've got to throw finesse sometimes. When the bike gets tough and you're not finesse fishing, you're wasting your time. So what I got here... These are my B3s. It's a three inch bait. Love this thing. Let's see if we can turn it there. Yeah, there we go. Great bait. Throw that on a drop shot. That catches a ton of fish. Then I got the four inch version right here. Same bait, just a little bigger. And believe it or not, I guess it's not hard to believe. I catch bigger fish on this four inch bait. I'm catching two pound plus bass on those. Then I got the same thing here the four and the three inch on the B4, B3. These here are Robo Worms or Kitex. These might be Kitex. They're just little leeches. I think just about everything else is mine. These here are my home port Ned Rigs. This is a great one up here. It's the craw colored with the black and the red. Love that thing. Again, that's a home pour. Then my killer ultimate drop shot worm. Love this thing right here. Great drop shot bait. I catch a ton of fish on that. And then I got some... Home port of the old Merlot worms. I used to pour those. It's just a hand pour. I still pour them. And I've got some Robo Worm Ned Rigs up here at top. So there's my finesse. So you don't have to carry a ton of stuff. Just carry stuff you're confident in. Give you some different colors in that stuff. And you're going to be fine. So that's my finesse box. I'm using that on the drop shot. And I'm also going to be using that for Ned Rigs. So there is my finesse box right there. Well, that's it. That's my new tackle box I got for Christmas. That's the stuff that's in my tackle box. Now you know what I'm throwing up there at Cast and Pyramid Lakes. I vary it up a little bit. I do have another box in the boat for swim baits. Swim baits don't fit into that tackle box there. But pretty much everything else. I also have spinner baits up in the, in the boat as well. So I do have a couple extra boxes on the boat, but this is my main box right here. This is what I take with me when I go fishing. I do switch it up every now and then. Uh, I'll take out some baits and put in some new baits, but that's pretty much what I'm throwing. So there you go. That's what's inside my tuckle box. Hey, have a happy new year. I'll see you guys up on the lake.